right, hello and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth Bakur, your host, and today I'm here in downtown Toronto at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre for the start, um, which is media day, of the Canadian International Auto Show. So this is kind of the biggest auto show in Canada for the year. So I'm here just to see what's happening in the world of electrification. Got a few interviews lined up. Uh, show you a little, little bit of what's going on. Just give you a sense of how the market looks from the show perspective. So sit back and hope you enjoy the show. So now for the first time in our brand new format, we would like to present the 2024 Canadian Electric Car of the Year. Let's take a look at the finalists. The three finalists for the 2024 Canadian Electric Car of the Year are the Genesis Electrified G80, the Hyundai Ioniq 6, the Toyota Prius Prime. And the winner of the 2024 Canadian Electric Car of the Year is the Genesis Electrified G80. Les trois finalistes pour le prix du véhicule utilitaire électrique canadien de l'année 2024 sont le Genesis GV70 électrifié, le Hyundai Ioniq 5, le Kia EV9. Et les journalistes membres de l'AJAC attribuent le prix du véhicule utilitaire électrique canadien de l'année au Genesis GV70 électrifié.
All right, so I'm here at the Cadillac booth, and I'm really honored to meet Michael Stapleton. Hi, Michael. How are you? Good to meet you, Kenneth. Good to meet you. Yeah. Michael is the Director of Interior Design for Cadillac, and we're standing in front of this gorgeous new Cadillac Escalade IQ, their fully electric version, of course, of a vehicle that's been a very strong seller for Cadillac, correct, in the Escalade product. Absolutely. And, you know, I, I wanted to ask you, Michael, kind of can you talk shortly about that journey to get that, that vehicle that already does well for the brand, that everybody knows, and to, to bring that over to the electric, electrification portfolio. What's that journey been like for you guys? Yeah, for sure. So the, the Escalade's an icon, mm -hmm. like an absolute icon. So when you talk about trying to one-up an icon, that's not an easy task. Exactly. And so if you look at the exterior of this vehicle, the proportion and the size and mm -hmm. scale it's just absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, and listen, the Escalade in itself is a, is, is a very impressive vehicle. It is, yeah. um, mm -hmm. But just proportionally, this is a little bit larger. It's mm -hmm. got a larger dash to axle, mm -hmm. so the front end is larger. Okay. It's a little bit larger vehicle overall. Um, four wheel steeler helps us with that in tight, okay. in tight uh, so scenarios. So you're utilizing some of that steering from the, from the pickup truck side of the, the game. Yeah, right? so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so. It's very easy to maneuver, mm -hmm. but it has a presence. So when okay. the whole goal was when you pull up in this vehicle, you want someone to know that you're showing up at an Escalade. You can't IQ. not notice it. That's and for I, sure. <laughs> and I, I think they've done in an amazing, an amazing job. And it, and as yeah. a, as like as a rolling scul sculpture, this is just such a beautiful vehicle. Mm -hmm. You know, the 24-inch wheels really set it up, mm -hmm. and this very very strong grille on the front. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful, beautiful car, and that yeah. that continues right into the interior. Yeah. So on the inside of this vehicle, it, if you open up the doors, the first thing you notice is this 55 inch screen. Mm -hmm. But it's not just about the screen size, it's how the screen is integrated within the vehicle. Okay. And so it's very, very cross car, integrated into the instrument mm -hmm. panel. Um, and then as, this, as the car comes to life, the ambient lighting that happens, the way the screen lights up, um, the you know, the 40 speakers on the inside of the car give you yeah. an experience that is, like, that is really second to none. Wow. Um, and it's not just the front seat. Yeah. So once you move from the front seat to the second row, yeah. and this vehicle here has it, is there's an ex executive seating package. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you can do all the things that you want to do in a mobile Klein office. And all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, in, desk, in, yeah. In a really premium and, and luxurious way. Nice. And so we don't feel like, Normally we're always, always talking about the front row. Mm -hmm. This vehicle, you want to talk about the second row and as much as you want to talk about the first row when you talk about a luxury yeah. luxury ride. Very nice. I mean, certainly I, I see a lot of design elements from the Lyric and, and folks know I, I did some extensive reviews of the Lyric. Absolutely love the vehicle. It's yeah. super quiet. The sound system is amazing. The drive is amazing. And, and you know, the whole infotainment and the whole um, electronic package that comes with it. And, and I love having a combination of soft and hard controls, that kind yeah. of stuff. So it seems like you've taken a lot of those elements which are working and to keep you know the momentum in the brand and that, that gene of the family and moved it over to, uh, brought it into the, the Escalators, correct? Yes, absolutely. So mm -hmm. you'll see a lot of the component sets that are kind of in the Lyric yep. are also in the IQ, but mm -hmm. there, there's some additional things there. Mm -hmm. And so when you do that pillar to pillar screen, yep. Um, we've given basically a 20-inch uh, monitor to the passenger oh, side. Oh, okay. Wow. And yeah. so now I can watch TV if I'm sitting in the passenger yeah. side and you're driving. Independently of Independently can, oh, okay. of what's going on. So wow. I can I have my own screen. So I have, yeah. once again, this more luxury experience for a passenger. Yes. Um, as well as we've got an HVAC controller that's in the console that's also um, electronic. And so there's, there's little things that really just kind of make it a step above. Mm -hmm. um, and that goes all the way through the... The entire interior with these really nicely crafted little details mm -hmm. that kind of set just they just set it apart and you, you might read it initially as wow this is amazing and then as you spend time with yes. the vehicle yeah. you find these little gems along the way and, yeah. and you can see the attention that the designers have put to every single surface every single detail on the interior. Absolutely and of course a vehicle of this size is you know there to move people and stuff so mm -hmm ample cargo space, lots of room inside. I take it, uh, will it have a frunk? It has a frunk. It has a frunk, and, okay, yeah, yep. <laughs> Kenneth, you definitely want to see it, it's huge. I'd love to take some B-roll of, of that after, yeah. for sure. Uh, easy hatch, you know, lots of, uh, of uh, accessibility from the back to put stuff in, you know, lower lift, all this kind of stuff. Is there, you know, to wrap up, is there one design feature that we may not notice, or we may notice that you're really, really super proud of it in this particular vehicle that's kind of different? 
You talked I, about some of the things. Yeah, so I think like I think if you look at the laser etching that's gone just into the speaker grill itself, mm -hmm. it's kind of it kind of shows the amount of detail that's gone into the interior overall. Mm -hmm. And so there's all these little surfaces. The pattern is not a consistent pattern. Right. Um, there's uh, different texture changes, the backlighting that happens in the doors. And so it's not just one thing. It's like a, an, a, it's really like a combination of multiple things that yeah. really kind of set it over the top. Yeah. And if, from the feel of the materials to the look of the materials yeah. to the backlighting of the materials to the sound that's on the interior, everyone talks about experience, but it really mm -hmm. is this full sensual experience yeah. on the interior of the vehicle. You know, I can see the excitement when you're speaking about this, Michael, and when do you think, you know, uh, consumers and customers will be able to share that excitement in this vehicle from, from first customer ships? Is this something that's targeted in Canada for the, by the end of this year, or do you have any sense of timing there? I do think it's later this year, yeah, but you I'm, better I'm, ask somebody else to get okay. the official date on that. But yeah. I do believe it's late in, later in the year this year. Yeah, after the I know there's a lot of stuff yeah. coming from the GM family this year uh, as as you guys ramp up for electrification yeah. and start getting stuff out there. So I'm excited. I know owners of the Lyric and they love it. So I'm really excited to see this on the road and get behind the wheel at some point. So thank you very much for your time. Awesome. It's been very informative. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, so here I'm at the Chevrolet booth, and I'm here seeing my old friend, James Hodge. Hodge. I wanted to say Hodgson for some reason. I don't know about James Hodge. I've been the, called worse, Ken. You've been called, uh, so, so have I, <laughs> trust me. We're married, right? Yes, we've been called. Uh, and you're the brand director for Chevrolet, correct? Yes, sir. In Canada. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me. Now, we talked last year at a pretty similar spot, maybe yes, 20 feet away from where we are today, and we had a lot of high expectations from Chevrolet on these vehicles that were standing near, both the Equinox and the Blazer, and then we've got some of the pickups in the Silverado. I know that it was a challenging year in 2023, and I get it. But, you know, what's, what are we going to look for for 2024 from you guys? Hey, so last year was a challenging year. There was no question there were headwinds in the industry generally. Uh, but what we saw was actually some great sales success. So first and foremost, GM actually sold more vehicles to Canadians than any other automaker. So we had a great year mm -hmm. for General Motors. Chevrolet contributed to that uh, success by growing our sales over 19%. Wow. Having said all of that, we had record sales year for Bolt EV and Bolt EV. Agreed, yeah, because you're discontinuing and great vehicle people were realizing, hey, let's jump on that. We had, we had overwhelming demand for, yes. for Bolt. Mm -hmm. we, we think we probably left some of that uh, demand on the table. Probably. But we are standing in front of it. We're here today to talk about Equinox EV. Today mm -hmm. we're releasing pricing on this yes. vehicle. Yes. We're going to announce that it is the most affordable electric vehicle in Canada with over 500 kilometers I was of say range. But yeah. what, we, what we anticipate, yeah. we're bringing this to the compact SUV yes. segment, which yes. is the biggest segment in Canada. And we think with this affordability message yeah. and with that big range, uh, all electric range that you get in an Equinox EV, we're addressing those two uh, barriers to EV that many consumers yeah. have. Absolutely. So we're addressing it with an affordable uh, price mm -hmm. and we're addressing it with a more than capable 500 kilometers, over 500 kilometers of range. So the 1LT, you'll be offering close to 500 kilometer range in that package? So, so we're going to announce- have different trims. I yeah, know, we yeah. do. So today mm -hmm. we're announcing 2LT, 3LT, yep. 2RS and 3RS pricing. Right. 1LT will come, the availability will yep. be later. Yes, I understand that. Yeah, yeah. And do you expect that to be, I'm, I'm only honing in on that because that's the starting one. Right? Yeah. And yeah. I think, you know, uh, that gets I, a lot of eyeballs looking at at the product line, um, you know, last year this was my EV pick of the year because of what you're just saying. Right. Because it really gets that affordability oh. and the capability. You know, exactly. good fast charging, good range, yeah. a nice, comfortable, good size. But you know, this is really a nice vehicle. I, I've been driving one for the last week you or have. so okay, now, great. Uh, Ken, and it's an outstanding driving vehicle. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, so, so we're in downtown Toronto right yep. now. So driving. Uh, an Equinox EV with Super Cruise yeah. on the Down Valley Parkway or on the 401 yeah, yeah. is just a game changer. Nice it really thing. is a, a superb vehicle from that standpoint. Okay. Really excited to bring it to market. It's coming to market uh, in Canada in June. We expect okay. to start selling them in June. So first customer delivery in the summertime. Then. Dealers, yeah. well, in fact, so as of uh, today, dealers yeah. and everyone will, and will know the pricing. We're publishing pricing today. Okay. Dealers will be able to start ordering Equinox EVs starting on February 22nd. Oh, wow. So okay. you'll be able Excellent. to start, start ordering, you know exactly what Excellent. you're 
paying mm -hmm. uh, place that order because we know we had just overwhelming demand for Bolt EV in yeah. a small SUV yes. segment. Yeah. And we think with the bigger car, yeah. less uh, less of those barriers apparent will have uh, some outstanding success. Totally agree. So then 2LT, which is what you're starting with, Correct. what's the starting MSRP on that? So 2LT, that's the starting yes. price that I yeah. mentioned, yeah. Uh, or maybe I didn't mention. No, you didn't. $48,198. That's before 48, any- 48198 yeah. yeah before yep. any credit. So yep. if you think about that federal yeah. credit or the bigger Quebec and BC and, Quebec BC, and other provinces, Quebec, yeah. Yep. We think it's exceptional value for, for this vehicle. Be interesting to see. Blazer, you know, they've already started, I think, yeah. deliveries in the US. I, yes. I don't know if they're started in Canada we, yet. We delivered a few. That's what um, I thought you did, yeah. Right now, and yeah. I think you may, may be aware, we have, we're not selling them right now. We're doing a, a software update. Okay. So yeah, we've got right. some, we are, hold, yep. we are debugging yep. some of the software in this vehicle. Happens to everybody. With the, Unfor unfortunately, you know, with this yeah. significant change, yeah. uh, with this much software in these vehicles, yeah, there's there's been some bugs, and we're taking care of those customers yeah. uh, and ensuring that we deliver the right experience to them. But they'll be back on track for deliveries this year. Absolutely. Well. Oh yeah, yeah. And they're they're on dealers' lots, yeah. and we're excited to to get back. To and, and they start in in the uh, low 60s, the low so 60s. 63. Okay. And they um, qualify for the 5K as well, federal rebate? They do, they absolutely. Do. Yeah. Okay. Yes, important. yeah, they yeah. do. All, all of the trims uh, qualify for the, for the federal credit. That's so, important. So that's, that's great too. Okay. And then lastly in the staple? Silverado EV. Yeah. So really excited. With, for Chevy, Chevrolet is known for its trucks. Yes. Uh, our, our Chevy trucks provided yeah. uh, a great... Um, they were a part of our great sales success mm -hmm. last year. There's yep. no question. So we are excited to bring to market uh, Silverado EV. We're going to start building them in April, so they be, should be showing okay. up uh, in the summertime. Nice. Um, and we're going to come to market with with RST. RST. That's the black yep. one behind mm -hmm. us, yep. and the white uh, WT yep. for fleet only. Yep. Uh, but the RST, uh, as I mentioned, will be available uh, to retail customers. Yep. So we're going to produce a, a first edition. Yep. Um, like a launch edition, kind exactly of thing. a yeah. launch edition. Okay. That's that's a really exciting offering. Very nice. Um, and and really, we feel with Silver Auto EV, we've built something from the ground up as an EV. Yes. So it takes away all the compromises maybe that some others have seen with mm -hmm. other variants. Mm -hmm. But we think with over 700 kilometers of range, 10,000 yeah. pound towing rating, yeah. we th and the ability for off-board power. Yes. Um, and that mid-gate uh, oh, The mid-gate's cool. Yeah, I like that. Back, yeah. back mm -hmm. to the future. We're yes. almost uh, back to the avalanche. That's true, um, yeah. So we, we know there's a lot of features and a lot of capability that are going to be well received by tr real truck owners Excellent. in Silverado EV. Excellent. And uh, starting MSRPs on those? Any have they been? Uh, we haven't yet? talked about pricing. Actually, okay. we're going to finalize pricing next month. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, so stay tuned. Coming for that. soon. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah, you well, can break it. I will try to break it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody sends it to me. Reach out to me. We will. We and will. Uh, I'll break it for sure. Well, listen, I'm excited for you guys. I Fun. really hope for a breakout year, as we talked about. We expect. I wish it. you guys all the best. I'm Cheers, really excited. Ben. And yeah, I look no, forward thanks. to get behind the. Hey, I can't wait for you to drive. One too. And I'd love like it. Yeah. I said, it's a wonderful drive. It's a really winning combination. Yeah, good. Thank you very Thank much. You, Ken. Good to see you again. That was lovely to see you. you yep. Too. Thank you. We'll see. All right. All right. I'm here in the Volvo booth at the show. I'm here with Stefan, who we met last September. You may recognize this uh, lovely gentleman's face here. He's the product manager for Volvo in Canada. How are you, Stefan? Good. Thanks for coming to the show, hey, Kenneth. Thanks to have for you taking here. the time to chat with me again. I always bug you guys. You know, it's been exciting six months, I guess, since we last talked for you guys. Maybe explain some of the movement on the electrification front. Yeah, so a lot has developed since the last time we spoke, mm -hmm. of course. I mean, today's the official public uh, Canadian reveal for the beautiful Volvo EX90 that we have Absolutely, here today. Yeah. Uh, we did reveal pricing as well. Yep. Uh, you can now actually go online and configure your car and a place to deposit if you're interested under Volvo Canada's One Price Promise program, yep. which is kind of like a hassle-free, negotiation-free, ah, okay. very transparent pricing program. Everything's here, right? It's yeah. all in, this is what you get. Yep. Exactly, mm -hmm. and this car um, is going to start very well equipped as a performance, a twin motor performance, yep. all-wheel yep. drive at 110,000 Canadian, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you can package yourself up to an ultra uh, level for 115,600. Mm -hmm. It also wow. comes in a seven seater or six uh, seater configuration. I was just gonna ask you that. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I love to see that the quality's there. They're quite comfortable. So this is going to be an exciting market because you guys do well already in this class of vehicles, correct? Yeah. I mean, this is. Um, I mean, we have the Volvo XC90 mm -hmm. that comes yeah. in a, a mild hybrid or mm -hmm. a plug-in hybrid. Yeah. And this is uh, kind of the next generation yes. in that uh, segment, which is the fully electric mm -hmm. Volvo EX90. Yep, absolutely. So, you know, look for this vehicle. You can pre-order it now in Canada, correct? You, uh, I think you can go online yep. and start and, and put orders in, and they should be hitting a dealer inventory or being delivered spring, summer, right? This summer. This summer. Summer 2024. There you go. Summer of this year. And not too much uh, longer to wait. 
Also on the full electrification front, the EX30, right? That's yes. you know getting so much attention now globally because of that sweet spot of size, um, of the abilities that that vehicle has as an all-electric and at a price point that's still affordable for a luxury brand. Mm -hmm. What do you see happening this year on that brand, in that model? So that model also, you've been able to configure the car, visit our website, see the pricing. Yep. That was announced back in the fall mm -hmm. um, with summer deliveries expected as well. Exactly, and it comes in again, a couple trim levels. Yeah, that one will come in both a single motor yep. and a twin motor performance. Okay. And the performance yep. can get you uh, zero to 100 in under four seconds. And that's that. the, beautif the beautiful thing about electric vehicles is it's instant you know, torque yep. and power and you can use it to zip around and Absolutely. Yeah. And remind me again, the starting MSR, MSRP on the X30? Uh, 53700 So 53, And it's priced to qualify for government incentives. Correct. Do all the trims qualify for the 5K on the uh, X30? Anticipated to, yes. I'm excited for that. And I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some seat time this year, you know, when, when, they, when they come to the press. So that'll be exciting, especially the X30, because I'm really all about trying to get, you know, a little bit smaller packages out there into the electrification footprint uh, for people, uh, especially in, in these urban environments where, you know, negotiating the streets and parking be a challenge so yeah now you know we have by the end of this year we're gonna have four fully electric cars in our fleet mm -hmm. uh, with these two being the bookends so you okay. have ex90 and ex30 yep. and then of course we have our c40 recharge and xc40 recharge has yep. been on sale for a few years yep. now uh kind of in the middle so and still those products are continuing to move forward still staying in that in the family correct um, because again they fill that nice mid-size market right so correct really really yes. good vehicles and i actually like this i like i love the styling of the c40 just that little bit better but it's yeah, all it's got that kind of coupe, coupe look it to it. And very nice. I have some unique. friends who, who bought bought one, and they absolutely love it. So, well, listen, I'm excited for you guys. I know your messaging is to be fully electric by 2030. It's a big, you know, it's only six years away. Yep. Uh, what do you see coming up in the next couple of years that you can uh, maybe uh, give us a sneak peek on? Anything you can I mean, share? I can't really comment on future product, no, of I course, know, but, but uh, general stuff, yeah, you, know, you know, if we're going to be fully electric by 2030, yep. and our lineup consists of cars in many segments, you know. You're under the spotlight, so yeah. I'm putting in, putting in, asking the question there. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm excited about it. There'll be more stuff, so continue to watch Volvo. They're doing some great stuff, and if you haven't test, you know, get into a test drive, find your local dealer, get in there. You'll be pleasantly surprised. So, Stefan, always right. a pleasure. Great seeing Thank you. Thank you very much. Care. So Enjoy the show. You Thank well. you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so staying on the the GM side of the business, I'm looking at GMC specifically, and I'm here with Mark Alger. He's the brand manager for GMC. How are you, sir? Good to see you, Ken. Good. How are you? Good to see you again. We talked about a year ago, so I'm seeing Absolutely. a lot of familiar faces here at the car show, which is what we do in the world that we live in. Yeah, great to see you. Um, again. We're here talking about this beast behind us here. Everybody, I think, knows about the Hummer EV. They've seen them. There's been a lot of buzz. These things are crazy. You know, three and a half second, 10,000 pound beasts. You guys have a lot of them here. What can you tell us about the Hummer EV? What's going on? Well, Ken, the response to the Hummer has been overwhelmingly, mm -hmm. much like the vehicle itself, overwhelmingly positive and yep. terrific. Um, and people love Hummer for a lot of reasons. When you look at our social media channels, you can see that whenever we post anything about Hummer, yeah. we get off the charts engagement and, and responses. And it's typically very few words, lots of emojis. <laughs> so people will yeah. put out hearts and fire and sunglasses and hard eyes and yeah. applause hands. So um, we have a lot of a huge fan base for Hummer a lot of enthusiasts, a lot of owners and potential owners. Mm -hmm. So Hummer's been really um, a spectacular, powerfully brand for GMC. And it's brought a lot of new customers into the brand mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of the EV piece. Yep. And customers love Hummer for a lot of reasons, right? They love it because of the iconic Hummer styling. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's beautiful. Yep. It has that legendary heritage Hummer look. Yep. Um, they also love it because of the capability. You mm -hmm. talked about the performance and the speed. Um, zero to 60 miles an hour in three seconds, a thousand horsepower, up to 570 kilometers of range. Those are pretty impressive numbers, and they also love it because it's electric. So yeah. I think in terms of its role for the GMC brand, it's done a lot to really help amplify the GMC premium space, because right. it comes in above Denali yep. in our SUV and truck yep. portfolio. Yep. And it's done a lot to transition us from gas and diesel into the EV space yep. uh, with style, mm -hmm. with stunning performance, and it's really cool. So it right. shows that an EV can be cool, fun, and outrageously capable. So it's really done a lot of good stuff for the GMC brand. Outrageously capable. I like that yeah. term. I'm going to steal that and start <laughs> using that. Yeah, you know, because it's more like, yeah, it's got some halo vehicle attributes, but right. it's more than that, right? Just as you described, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. stuff in here going True. on. 
Yeah, um, and, and again, it does play uh, two very important roles for the mm -hmm. GMC brand. Again, it makes it more premium, but it yep. also is a massive technology flagship. So Absolutely. it is our first EV, yep. this century at least, yeah. Yeah. and it's leading the transition from gas and diesel to electric. Yeah. And we're finding that there's a lot of great technology in Hummer that we can cascade across the portfolio. Mm -hmm. So Hummer, in order to get that, you know, that incredible performance, you need the biggest Altium battery pack. Mm -hmm. Altium is our signature EV platform. So it has the best of all things Altium. Our biggest battery pack, our most, um, most robust and I would say most powerful motor drivetrain system. Mm -hmm. One motor in the front, two in the rear. So mm -hmm. it's got Altium drivetrain, Altium battery pack. You'll see some of that technology come down to the Sierra EV later this year. Yep. So mm -hmm. that EV technology will cascade across the portfolio. Okay. And some of the other hardware will come across the portfolio as well. Things like four wheel steering. Mm -hmm. So the Hummer has yeah. our legendary the, signature the crab, uh, crab walk yeah, diagonal yeah. steering. Mm -hmm. That's enabled by four-wheel drive, yeah. four-wheel steer. Yeah. The four-wheel steer piece will come down to the Sierra EV later this year in Canada. Okay. So um, cool. we're using this as a technology flagship for the brand and really accelerating the transition to EVs at GMC. And would that be on the pickup, like a 10 degree kind of rear movement? Exactly, you know? yeah. so just as you have 10 degrees rear yeah. movement on the, on the Hummer, same yeah. thing on the, okay. on the pickup truck. So you're going to get that real world application of Excellent. crab walk, which yeah. is diagonal steering yeah. plus short turning radius when the wheels turn in opposite directions. Yeah, and you know, it yeah. makes a huge difference, folks. If you haven't experienced, I've driven some MB products with, yeah. right now, you know, that have the rear steering, and man, I, you know, like a big SUV, but it turns on a dime. It really blows your mind it is how impressive. capable these things are, especially when how big they are. Yeah. How, so you originally came out with the, uh, if I remember correctly, with the pickup truck version of this. Correct. And yeah. now you have, the, the, of course, the, the full SUV version. How right. are you seeing the uptake? Is it kind of 50-50? Are you, what are you seeing yeah, there? Yeah, close right? to 50-50 yeah. at this point, and to your point, we're in, we're in our second year now of selling mm -hmm the full portfolio here in Canada. So we have the Hummer EV Super Truck yep. and we have the Hummer EV SUV. This is the additional one here. Mm -hmm. um, currently it's about a 50-50 uptake. Okay. We are working hard to uh, meet that demand for the vehicle. Uh, we've had a lot of patient customers looking for the reservation orders and yeah. we're now filling those. So now's good. a really good time to go to your GMC dealer and see if they can help, help you out with the Hummer order. Yeah, yeah I'm seeing them in, in, in dealerships. So you yeah. know, check out your local dealership. Uh, the ones that I've seen, uh, in the dealerships that I've been into have all been sold. So they're selling folks, they're not just <laughs> they sitting there, but you know, yeah. they, they keep them on the floor as long as they can to show them off. But uh, yeah, exactly. certainly nice capable vehicles. There's a lot you can do in them. And I, you know, again, I wish you and GMC the best of success yeah, as you guys you ramp up with the other divisions on the electrification platform. I'll right. be excited to see the Sierra, the Denali as well, yeah. you know, hit the streets in their format. I think they're all targeted for sometime this year, probably closer to the end. I yes, guess. you'll see the Sierra yeah. EV Denali, the Denali of EV yeah. pickup trucks yeah. here in Canada late this year. Yep. And again, you'll see that Hummer influence in technology mm -hmm. and EV craftsmanship uh, across the portfolio. Nice, yeah. very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, wish you continued success. Yeah. And we were going to go for a quick drive, but unfortunately, <laughs> they're still doing construction around this interior track that we were supposed to use today, so we can't. But I'm hoping to get some seat time in front of one at we'll some point. We'll get you out there. Yeah. We'll get you out yeah. there this year, yeah. so then I'll be able to uh, see how the whiplash <laughs> is on the, that zero to 60. Mark, always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, Ken. Take much. care. Good to see you. See you next time. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and my last stop here at the uh, media day for the auto show is at the Kia booth because, uh, you know, as you folks know, I'm really stoked on what Kia has done, and especially on this EV9. I'm here with Reg. He's the national trainer for Kia. How are you, Reg? Good to see awesome, you again. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's like every year now we're meeting up right here at this show because uh, that's just our, the way our destiny, our paths work, right? And in 2019, I was here, we first yes, met. Yes, I remember I quite well. I was here because I brought something for you. I, I had picked, uh, folks know I do my EV of the year, and I had picked the Nier, Ear, uh, Nero EV, uh, or E-Nero in, in the UK or in Europe, as the EV of the year for various yes, reasons at yes. the time. And I'm back, and I'm proud to be back uh, at the Kia booth with my pick for this year, which folks already know because I've announced it, but the EV9. So yeah. I wanted to first start out by giving you giving you guys this and say congratulations. Oh, this on is my awesome. Year. This is really, really yeah. awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, Thank you're you very quite much. welcome. I mean, you know, again, I'll be getting this in a couple of weeks, folks, uh, and then I'll do a, a much longer review. I had just a short one, but you know, for the price point and the, and the, and what you get in this all electric, I mean. The three-row SUV, Reg, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's hot, right? It's a it's hot It's very market. hot. Uh, let's put it this way. P, uh, Canada SUV, big model. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. a, a, everybody's going t towards it. But this is not just a three-row SUV. It's a three-row full electric SUV, yeah. Yeah. the first one on the market. At a price point, that blows my mind. Yeah, right? so <laughs> if you go, if you start with, the, with our light, which is the entry-level model, mm -hmm. 
uh, you're looking at under $60,000, 59995 The one behind me right here is our fully loaded LAN uh, GT line, and that one is still under $80,000, 78995 yeah, yeah. The great thing about the price points of the EV9, it, uh, it qualifies for the incentives for the federal government yep. and the ones that are in provincial government like uh, BC, uh, like uh, Quebec and New Brunswick. So do all the trims Brunswick. qualify in Quebec as well? All the I was trims. asked that and I didn't know. All so. the trims okay. qualify. Cool. So that's a great incentive it's in huge. Quebec at minus $12,000. I know, that's huge. And you know, it, it, and I want to just set, set this, uh, folks. A lot of people say, well, you know, EVs are for, they're very expensive they're for the rich. But and, and you know, that sounds like 60, 5,000 is a lot of money. It sounds, you know, 70, it's a lot of money, but the average light duty vehicle price in Canada, new last year, was just, I think, just over 64,000, yeah. just under 65,000. Yeah, it is in the median so, so range. So people are spending that money. Yeah, you can go out and buy, a, a, you know, a $10,000 used car, but new people are spending this kind of money. Yeah. And for what you get in that package, especially, you know, like just the single motor long wheel, um, or, or single motor, front wheel drive, but it's front wheel drive. No, right? it's no, rear wheel rear. drive. So, so our light motor, model, yep. which is our entry yep. model, yep. with the long range battery, yep. rear wheel drive, you're looking at 489 kilometers of range. Exactly. Which yeah. is a lot That's more huge. than uh, right. a lot of uh, gas SUV. Yes. And you get the EGMP platform charging. Yes. You know, and I've proven that that platform does 10 to 80 in the 20 minutes. I went yep. out and did a charge last summer and I showed you folks that. So it, you know, you got fast charging, road trip capabilities, uh, even even a, a rear wheel drive in the winter, throw good snow tires on it. It's and learn. fantastic. It's got traction control, it still has stuff like that. So it will still, and it's got the height, it will still drive fine. I've been driving for more than 45 years in Canada. My, my The car I have now is the only one that's ever been all wheel drive. I've driven either front or rear, so it, you can right. do it. But at that price point, it got me thinking, man, if I need a three row SUV, I would get that one. And yeah. if you're wondering what the size it is, if you know our Telluride, our right. uh, gas model, yes. uh, the EV9 is the same size. Okay. Yeah, great. Okay. So, you know, I'm really stoked for you guys in this product. Thank uh, you very I much. I said to, to, to people within Kia that I think you guys are going to have a hard time keeping inventory on these uh, machines. Uh, and I think that is no problem. Well. We're there for the challenge. And when do you expect first customer deliveries of these? This, uh, this actually, year? the EVI has already been delivered. They have? Uh, we wow, sold okay. uh, 500 of them pre sold wow, uh, okay. in, in the fall. Yeah. The, some started arriving in December. Okay, so we started excellent. at the end of December delivering our new 500 pre sold yep. units. Yep. Uh, most of them have been delivered now. Good. And now the dealers are starting to get their main order. Excellent. So, if you're interested, go on your local dealer website, uh, check out your dealers. Uh, will they have some demos as well? Will the dealers uh, have some? Some dealers will. Depends, so uh, check it that out it all depends, but like you said, uh, they're going out like hotcakes. I know, that's the thing. Well, anyway, congratulations to you guys. You guys keep up Thank all you the very efforts. much. Thank you very Phenomenal much for, for the uh, award here Thank and you. have a fantastic well auto deserved. show. Thank you. Okay. Take care.
All right, and that's it for my coverage of this year's Canadian International Auto Show. Kind of quick, you know, I wanted to get some of those um, interviews here versus just static and walking around and cars and that kind of stuff. So um, hope you enjoyed what you saw. There's a lot, again, a lot of electrification here on display from a lot of different vendors, which I didn't cover. I just want, had a few interviews lined up, so I wanted to get them in the can and give you guys some perspectives on some of the movers and shakers here and hope you found it informative. So, you know, keep checking out electrification landscape. Thanks very much for tuning in. And until the next time, I will see you when I see you. Everybody stay safe. Bye-bye.